Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where we will show you how to model surfaces in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. In this particular video, we are going to show you how to view the local access system that is currently assigned to your surfaces and how to modify it if it doesn't quite suit your needs. Now, in this exercise, we're going to focus on our horizontal surfaces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and unselect everything within my model. I'm going to go to the Data tab in the Ribbon Toolbar, and I'm going to be able to find my Surface Selection Tools. Now, you can select surfaces that are parallel to a particular axis system. And I'm going to select my horizontal surfaces by selecting those that are parallel to the XZ plane. Now that I have the surfaces selected, let's go ahead and review how our default local coordinate system is looking. To do that, let's go to the View tab of the Ribbon toolbar, and then we're going to click on the local access system. This will display the local access system that is currently assigned to anything that is currently selected. This will include both members and surfaces. Now taking a look at my particular model, I can see that the X and Y plane are always within the plane of the surface, and the Z plane is, and the local Z axis is pointing perpendicular to the surface. Now what you're going to notice for this particular model is that the local Z axis for my horizontal surfaces is currently pointing down. When plate elements are analyzed in STAD Pro, the stresses at the top and bottom of the plate will be reported. The side of the plate elements pointing in the direction of the positive local Z axis will represent the top of the plate when the results are reported. Now for this reason, I do recommend that you reorient your plates or your surfaces so that the local Z axis is pointing up. This will make interpretation of your results later on a little easier. So do I have to redraw my surfaces when my local Z axis is not pointing in the direction I would like? No, I can ask the program to go ahead and flip those surfaces if I find this situation. To do that, I'm gonna go to my surface tab in my ribbon toolbar and I'm going to ask the program to just flip the surface. This will change the local Z orientation. Now here we can see as I take a look at my model that the Z axis is now pointing up and this will make it easier to interpret my results later on, especially if I'm working with other engineers in my office if we have a consistent orientation that we typically assign to our surfaces. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.